You got to go home. <laughs> you were suspended for six weeks. Yeah. Did you kill a kid? Almost. No, I had an, I had a, uh, I had a knife. I brought a knife to school. Whoa. Yeah. So I, yeah, I stole a knife from Target. How old are you? 17. You're maybe? a dick. 16 or 17. No, Why? It's too old. Why is that too it's old? It's too old to get to away steal? with that. You're past driving age. You should have some responsibility. <laughs> You're, you were you were a kid that I hoped the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles beat up when you became a foot soldier. <laughs> that behavior, Brendan, I'm gonna Toys tell you this right. Now. <laughs> yeah, Brendan, I'm gonna tell you this right now. That's foot soldier behavior, <laughs> and you're better than that. Shredder uh, could come what, along. What was the last thing you. you stole? Like candy when I was a kid. You candy when you were a kid is the last thing you stole ever. Ah oh, shit. Yeah. Here know. we go. Here I we was, go. I, How I, about music? I had a dark period in my late twenties where I was real broke, and I think I stole some stuff then. Yeah, but I don't well, like. We're, we're all like Aladdin, you know. Yeah, okay. we'll jump ahead of the me stealing Dude, so that '70s th show complete first season on DVD uh, from Target. One jump ahead of the. <laughs> <laughs> I love you get caught because you're singing. <laughs> Excuse me, son. Were you just singing Aladdin as you put that DVD <laughs> into your jacket? I'm, I'm sitting. I'm sitting in the Target jail. Riff raff, street rat. We both get caught together. And I'm just doing different impressions, and they're like, "Is this your genie?" Well, I wish he'd hang himself. <laughs> I'm coming back going, oh, 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 oh he stole yo. only three more wishes. <laughs> uh, it's just two mentally ill men. I used to steal lad. from Target all the time, and I would take. Um, I don't know what what the statue. what was your biggest score. My biggest score were like complete seasons on DVD. Back when, back Can you imagine when it, no one steals media. There now. was like, yeah, I know. It's, there was like, well, you do just with someone's password. Well, what I would do is, um, so you'd go to the baby aisle, sure, and they they have like big boxes, and you can kind of make a fort. Like if you just like you know went into where the big boxes were, you can kind of get in the middle of the big boxes like, and. You know, big boxes, kind of like at Target. There's also bikes and boxes. Exactly. So I right. would go in the in the middle of these in your own boxes. Little world. <laughs> yeah, and I would go into this a like whole new <laughs> <laughs> the whole thing's Aladdin score. Yeah. So, I go fuck it, Sazagos. Sazagos really is a musical. Employee is walking by, <laughs> but, but it's muffled because I'm in the. <laughs> yeah, I swear to God, beat. There's someone singing in the walls, a dude. That works at Target. <laughs> going crazy B someone's fucking in there well I would open the DVD cases and I would take out the CDs and I'd put the CDs in my pocket brilliant because be, the anti-theft stuff is on the box they don't put it on the CD alright I'm gonna admit something to you here we go I think Statue of Limitations has passed <laughs> I killed a I man. killed a kid I watched him drown <laughs> uh I uh, I could have helped him. Listen, the song in the in the air tonight's based on me. <laughs> <coughs> he says it's about a divorce. It's really about me watching a kid drown. Um, PlayStation Two, when it first came out, it's like every time there's a new video game system, yeah. the first ones that come out are always wonky, or like there's a couple that are wonky because they're like figuring it out. PlayStation Two would break down a lot. A lot of people don't remember that when it first came out in 01, or like 2000 or 01. Right, where you'd turn it on and you'd pray. You'd be like, and sometimes it'd just corrupt file, and it just couldn't play the. It couldn't play because it was like a DVD player. It right. was like the first time we had all that shit on one. I spent all my. I spent my own money that I earned <laughs> working right. at Yaya's as a bus boy, <laughs> but I drove up to a GameStop in Boulder because you couldn't find them, and I fa I called around. You used that like call GameStops, yeah. and I called when I found it. So I got a PS2, loved it, was playing Madden. It died, but then PlayStation 2 became like kind of everywhere. Yeah. You could get them everywhere. Target had them. So we, my friend, and I won't reveal his name. This he's is a good me buddy. being Jack Nicholson in anger management. <laughs> I know exactly where this is going. <laughs> so my buddy was like, well, there's a barcode on the bottom of your PlayStation 2 that they scan when you buy it yeah. to make sure it's the same unit. He goes, here's what you do. You buy a PlayStation 2. Dude, you bring dude. it home. I can help you get the Cut barcode. You fucking with a, with a with razor blade a razor and a lighter. Razor blade like Frank Abagnale Jr. <laughs> catch you if you can. Shit. For real, catch you if you can. Yeah. And then I flew Call a plane. And, ratty. and then I crashed a plane. Uh, I was a child pilot and I crashed. So we... Uh, he told me you buy the PlayStation 2, you take the barcode off it, which is using a lighter and a razor blade, which we did crazy easy. Take the broken PlayStation, take its barcode, put it on the new one, take the old barcode, the one you bought from Target, 
put it on the broken PlayStation, take it back to Target, take it back to Target, get your money back if you pay cash. Oh, so just replace the PlayStation. Wait. I think I got lost in that. Yeah, would you return it and then return get your the broken money back? one? You return the broken one with. Why the do you new, have to cut off the razor? Like, why do you have to new, cut off the barcode? Because they scan the barcode when you bring it back to make sure it's the same PlayStation. Oh, all right. So all when, right. when you buy it, they scan the barcode on the PlayStation. Right. When you bring it back, they scan the barcode on the place, not on the box, on the actual PlayStation. There was like a hole in the box. Yes. That went to the unit to the actual console. Yes. You take that barcode, switch it with the broken one. Keep the new one with the broken one barcode. Broken one has the new one's barcode. Oh, I thought okay. you were a thief. <laughs> I, mean, I could work. Like, I could work through this, this is, score with this anybody. Is... <laughs> I'm up over here doing inside man shit. You Go back to stealing fruit, <laughs> carpet bagger. I only steal what I can't afford. Yeah, and that's everything. Go sing your gay songs and steal your fruit. <laughs> yeah, dude, cut cut to Aladdin being like put in a real situation. Yeah, here we're, like, we're doing, right, we're doing the Lafonso heist. <laughs> Aladdin and the Lafonso heist is so funny. Oh, we're gonna do it. Hey, this kid don't stop singing. I'm gonna fucking put one in the back of his head. He's got a new vest on. What did yeah. I say? Take it back. Hey, they, they tell me you got a monkey. <laughs> this monkey. Now my mom got it for us for a wedding gift. Yeah. I don't care how you got it. Take it back. Oh, oh, on his genie. <laughs> hey, someone do something about the purple queer. The blue guy. Yeah, it's uh that was the last that, time I saw That's stole. huge though. That's like grand larceny. Is that? Are, kind of. I mean, is this going to be the podcast that takes me down like the guy that killed Tupac? <laughs> Isn't it crazy? A podcast took down the killer of Tupac. Why? What did he do? He was on a po- He was on a podcast talking about how he killed Tupac. <laughs> it's like, yeah, killed Tupac. Which, anyways, you got any plugs? <laughs> check my TikTok. I re- Wait. So what happened? He he admitted to it or something? He just talked or, about it a bunch. And they, why would he do that? Because he was the either father or uncle of the the, the trigger man. The guy that actually pulled the trigger, and he's like, yeah, I was in the car. like, oh. And then he said, Diddy offered him money to kill Suge Knight or Pac, like multiple times, I think like three times. And then now he's like Whoa. in jail, and he did the thing where he goes, no, 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 get me out of jail. I right, don't want right, to be in right. jail. That's so funny, dude. The people be like, it was a podcast. I'm just, I'm riffing. That's like you if know? Steve Rain is easy would have been kidnapped by Al-Qaeda. <laughs> where he goes, no, 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 I wasn't in the towers. I have no intel on that. They're like, you have been talking to people about 9-11. I am a brother of one of the lucky 13, as we call them. <laughs> What's the name of the pilot or one of them? One of them was a, what was the name of the Sullivan? guy? Sullivan? The guy that landed yeah. in the river? No, no. One of that. the, <laughs> Sully Vol- Sullivan did 9-11. I, I did, yeah, you know, I have a crazy theory. I can open that closet and show you a cork board that's going to blow your tits off. Dude, I, I did you see that movie? The no. Sully Sullivan movie? It was about a guy that landed in a river. Yeah. I, I remember being here for it. When I found out they were making it a movie with Tom Hanks, it felt like. It was awful. A 30 Rock joke. Yeah. Yeah, it was awful. And at one point, he uh, they they had this line in it where he goes like, he says something where he's like, he goes, he says something like, you know, this is the 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 first time in a long time that something uh, good has happened, especially with planes in New York. Like Jesus. he says something like that, and then he like walks out of the hotel yeah. room that he was in. It was really weird. And goes, whoever I was mean- sitting with, we like turned to each other like. Is that a 9-11? They had to say, they had to mention. Just to touch on it. (laughs) We understand how blessed we are (laughs) that I didn't have a man with a box cutter coming at me. Because I had a bird with a tood, not a fucking, not a guy (laughs) willing to die to meet God. Yeah. From the bird side of the story, this is, that's, that's, this is a tragedy. I always wonder if there's like in sad situations where, now follow me. I'm with you. I wonder sometimes in these really sad situations if there is someone that is suicidal so that they're just like, Phew, look at that. Like, it worked out. What do you mean? Like, I was going to kill myself, but this guy's going to do it for me. Yeah. Bang. <laughs> Big birds, one Pretty stone. Easy. Pretty easy. <laughs> yeah, my wife just left me. I thought I was going <laughs> to die. But like, I think about that with the dinosaurs. If they're ever like, when the meteor was coming, dinosaur. they're like... Thank God. Yeah. <laughs> I'm a giant lizard with a fucking 70 foot neck. I can't even itch my yeah. fucking. I have one to scratch. That's why T Rex so are so mad. They're yeah. like, ah, I can't itch. <laughs> then that meteor's coming to Earth and they're like, hey, it goes, God. It goes, and all you hear is, 
Ah, the collective sigh. <laughs> Gas was uh, oils is them pleasantly pissing themselves because they got to die. I think if I was really suicidal, I would put myself in a lot of situations where I could be a hero. Yeah, where the upside is high risk, high reward. High risk, high reward. Right, and then maybe it makes you want to live. Yeah, I like mean, you if save I was... a kid in a burning building, or you know, you're a man without a face. Right. right. You know? Either or. You're either those weird eyes. That yeah. Yeah. The Mel Gibson victims have. Remember how hot Mel Gibson was? So hot that he goes, "I'm gonna do a movie where I'm a freak." <laughs> See how and hot. ladies still want to yeah, fuck me. I really think that actors do that, where they're like, "How? Where can I push?" To where people might get the ick from me yeah. or where they're like, ah, oh, Jesus Christ, he's still so fucking hot. Yeah, I know. He goes, I'm sleeping a, in a bear. Yeah. He goes, I'm gonna play a pedophile. <laughs> you know, I don't. <laughs> ah, he's so goddamn hot. Uh, oh, it's kind of hot. <laughs> You're talking about your TikTok algorithm now is just young kids shitting on Joe Coy's opening. Monologue. Oh, yeah. And it makes me so furious. Yeah, because people <laughs> I understand when people are sick of stand up. I understand when people hate when we talk about it where we elevate it or put it on a pedestal because I hate that shit. Do you? Yeah. So well, I, I've the, done it the, enough. The pedestal thing I get, but like talking about it? Well, I like talking about comedy, but I feel we've reached the point now it's publicly been done enough. Right. Let's take it back to being like in the car ride to the comedy club. Right, right, At right. the comedy club. Right. Backstage. We can talk about the... Because there are people that like it. There's enough of it out there. Yeah, yeah. Too much. What, yeah. What I was saying is the thing I hate as a comic is when you see a teenager and they're not wrong, <laughs> but they just go like, it's just their face over a video yeah, of like you. Yeah, like the hovering face. Yeah, the ghost of face. Of just a picture of, <laughs> of going, Joe Coy. Oh, see, go, I hate this. This guy sucks. Okay. He makes this joke and then look at Taylor Swift's face. Yeah, I just hate it because it's like, especially and this might be just the ingrained hatred for women that i have oh, for cool. some fucking reason i like that you acknowledge it that's the first step in the right way alan <laughs> like, of course you hate women you hate women what are you gonna what? do <laughs> work on it what <laughs> so well he's also going like this <laughs> dude we were talking about <laughs> yeah. our therapist falls asleep sometimes <laughs> while he's talking and to you can't even be mad and as a comic as a people pleaser more yeah. importantly than a comic yeah. i don't want to bomb with alan <laughs> so i just lie about stuff we'll be like and i'll be like and then my and then my stepdad sucked my dick he's like what <laughs> yeah he's and like go, oh, oh, finally. No. oh no i was just good stuff <laughs> yeah oh sorry i was talking about a dream i had oh no oh, never mind you know what fuck <laughs> he goes, Anyways, he goes, oh fuck he uh, just, just puts, his, puts his hands back on his chest he's like back to back to sleep <laughs> yeah. but your, th your therapist your therapist fucking bombing for your therapist sucks the worst feeling in the world but dude. the equivalent the opposite of that not the equivalent the opposite of bombing for your therapist is making them cry which i've never done <sighs> That's a standing O. I've never made him cry. and I got him twice. Damn, dude. I got People two. get him, and I, I just don't. I think he you just. You got to bring it. I bring it. I'm, don't I mean, tell him you bring it. <laughs> tell, I think you're telling him a bunch of Aladdin stories and not really getting to your deep-seated <laughs> hatred of women. Yeah, I go, I go uh, and then he said, I'll show you how snake-like I can be. Yeah, and then he, he turned into a snake. This is the fourth time we've broke down Aladdin. <laughs> can we What's, at least what, do Pocahontas? What's really going on? Why not Mulan? No, he uh, he'll, he'll, he's never cried. I don't want to. But I've also never cried to him. What? Yeah. I've, Damn, I am I a in. pussy? No, I hold it in. You never uh, let it go? No. You have to poop. You have to emotionally no. poop that I do, bad. I do that thing where I go, I like look up and I'll go like, yeah, so and then. Well, uh, like you're giving a speech. <laughs> Sometimes I let it go. First session, I let it go. No. First session. First session. I'm a slut. That's crazy. I'm a cry slut. Yeah, you're easy, I'll dude. I'll give it to. Ah! <laughs> 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 ah! This is the moment. And then I leave and I go, hey, you want to do it again? No I can go again. <laughs> I got no a lot way. of tears. I just can't. I don't know. I can't. Uh, I can't see myself crying in front of him. And I, I don't. He, that's the whole reason you pay him. To cry? Yeah. I pay him to. If I cry in front of another man, I'm about to fight him. <laughs> but I pay him to keep my secrets of why I cried. I can barely Only cry. Only you know the reason, Alan. He goes, get your finger out of my face. <laughs> Every time I cry, I end up laughing at myself for crying. 
You like, know, what is this? You I, do that. Dude, that's exactly you're what it is. Two tissues I can't and you go, what am I even doing? I can't yeah. believe I'm fucking crying. This is stupid. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You have a cute girl in a movie cry? <laughs> I don't even know what I'm doing. Why am I doing this? It'll get me, though. I've been watching uh, Boy Meets World. What? I know. That makes you pop? You're a sick fuck. There are some things that are like, you know. What, when, Feeny? Mr. Feeny? No. When, I love when a teacher like, that really lays it down. <laughs> when, uh, when like, Sean Hunter is like, you know, there's a scene where he's like. He's oh, like, he's a good older cry. brother? He's like, what? Wait, I know. I jumped her out. <laughs> no, there's like a scene that got me where he gets drunk. He, apparently, they like. I didn't realize how much of like a jumping the shark this show does, like okay. especially with like the he's got a half brother that comes out of nowhere in the fifth season and Love all that, that stuff. Brady and then, Bunch was the first one to do that, <laughs> where they brought cousin Oliver in. Dude, you just bring a Le- so weird. Leonardo DiCaprio was the young growing pains in Growing Pains, but he was just like a young orphan kid. They always do that. I know. Non-blood. I know. I know. And he goes. So there's a whole episode where he like he goes, "Hey, I got this letter." Uh, out of the fucking out of the fucking blue yeah. he got this letter and he goes he's like opens it up and he's like he goes my mom's not my real mom Dude. <laughs> and that got you no okay what got me was he goes i'm gonna try and find my mom and the whole episode he's trying to find his mom and then he eventually doesn't find her and he's like he gets drunk and shows up to the matthews home and he's like eh, and then he sits on the couch and he's like such a fucking idiot no one will ever love me and he goes stop complaining i hate you and i was like that's me i was damn. like oh, that's what got me him him going stop complaining i hate you damn you're scotty from boogie nights <laughs> i've never seen I, boogie nights what i <laughs> know Dude, there is a scene with Philip Seymour Hoffman. Yeah. That just that story alone you're telling me, you are going to relate to the part where he tries to kiss Mark Wahlberg more than anything. It's, actually, sometimes I, the way you look at me, it's just, I don't know, I'm a fucking idiot. Dude, I'm I actually fucking... did. I watched Boogie Nights and then I fell asleep right at the part with the gun in the bathroom or something like yeah, that. Yeah, little Bill when he blows his brains out yeah, after yeah, his yeah, wife exactly. is caught fucking a, a dude again. <laughs> yeah. So, Mind closing the door? That's when I, Jesus Christ, yeah. man. Watch that's Boogie crazy. Nights. I hope you're enjoying the episode. Which episode is this? God only knows. This is a generic promo. I'm on the road. February 3rd, New York Comedy Club in Stanford. February 4th, The Funny Bone in Hartford. February 17th, I am at The Wilbur in Boston. There are two shows. First show sold out. Second show, tickets are available. DanSoder.com. And then Cleveland, Hilarities, February 22nd through the 24th. All at DanSoder.com. Let's get back to that episode. What a, what a barn burner. I try not to have that reaction when people say that they haven't seen a movie that that I'm like, because my whole life has been people being is me being being like, you haven't watched Eight Mile or something yeah, like that. But so I try not to have that. Re- if it's in my top five, I'll react Brilliant like is that. In your top five, I would go as far as to say is because of how much I've watched it and how I like everything about it. <laughs> it's my favorite movie. I think Boogie Nights is my favorite movie. That's such a hilarious. It makes me laugh. It's super crazy at times it's sad it's like got everything Mm -hmm. that would be my movie review of boogie nights that is a very funny way to describe why something is your favorite just by like saying it why it's so obviously your favorite like why is it your favorite because i love it so much and i've watched it so much and i love it (laughs) but it's a movie where like pulp fiction and boogie nights were movies that i'd like it's comfort food like you put on and you watch it and then there's just like a bunch of ridiculous scenes yeah that are very funny well that's why i'm watching boy meets world because it's comfort food and i get it going through a breakup and i got this cat that fucking hates my guts really so like that's so depressing dude yeah i didn't didn't tell you this I, i got this free cat I should have got a kitten that I could groom. Yeah. Like a pedophile. Oh, yeah. Let's let's watch some of these terms. You've been dropping some hints that this might be this might be uh, evidence. He's been doing this the whole time. He's been dropping hints the whole time. Mr. Soder, this is uh, Detective Wilmore with the NYPD. I don't know if you realize the situation that happened with uh, one Brendan Brendan Sagalo, but (laughs) we have it here right now that he's on your podcast called uh, Soder. You named it after yourself. Okay. Uh, well, I'm going to need to uh, <laughs> get all the yourself. raw footage if possible. <laughs> Do the hilarious the victims family the detective are... going. So you have a podcast you named after yourself. Huh? Oh. Huh. High opinion. Not huh? very creative. Uh, I'd say. I don't know if I would have done you that. Go, well, you know, it's easy to well, remember. I was going to call like what was going to call it like couching it or like couching it. Goes, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. 
I'm, yeah, I'm all not, right. All right, Mark Marin. Yeah, Anyways, I'm not, uh, <laughs> I'm not the podcaster. You, yeah. you are, but I'm just saying. Know. Never seen your stuff. I'm more of a rife guy. <laughs> Anyways, uh, says here, Mr. Sagalo <laughs> bragged about bodies that he was going to turn into, quote, his trophies. Hey, man, hey, man, what do, you, what do you do for a living? I'm a detective with the NYPD. <laughs> I'm going to need to talk to you after your set. You guys ever run out the back door? <laughs> <laughs> so you like boy, I get liking Boy Meets That's, World. That but is your my... comfort food thing is completely understandable. I didn't know you were doing that. I thought you were just jumping into the Boy Meets World. Yeah series well i used to watch that show a lot as a kid so that's my comfort shit so yeah. i'm like yeah i'm like watching it as comforting and this fucking cat is it's just so depressing dude why does the cat because it's like a you. rescue and it literally it's just walking by and it's like so scary and take it back i can't take it back what am i gonna take let it, it out back? on the streets <laughs> you go, oh. you've seen enough cartoons <laughs> that thing will be singing and dancing for its food <laughs> Just keep your Disney brain going. No, I, I I have this thing where I'm like, this needs to work out. I need this to work out. It's an animal. It can't be reprogrammed. I mean, does it I mean, like it's anybody? A less than a year. Uh, mm, no, not really. It doesn't like anybody. Doesn't like but anybody. When the lady was sending me videos of her, him, um, he was out and about and let her walk right up to him and all this stuff. And because he probably trusts her. Yeah. You just got to get that trust. How long have you had him? Since December uh, 16th. December 16th is when I... That's not even a month. I know. I know, which is what I keep telling my fucking self. Oh, but I I'm thought like, you had this thing for like a year. No. I thought you were just in a lose-lose situation where no. I was like, Brendan, get rid of that cat. I know, but yeah, no, no, no. I've had it. But it's like, what else do I do? And I'm like, I'm starting to get... I'm, it's starting to... <laughs> I'm starting to get mad. <laughs> yeah. You're like, yeah, you want to eat today? Well, not today, you little fuck. You're going to Joe Jackson that thing and I'm, beat it until it's talented. <laughs> What are you gonna <laughs> do? Do 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 do. <laughs> All right. <laughs> you like play you go. I play the piano. <laughs> the food. Just give it a little pieces of food. I go, dude. Sagalo is a complicated man. All this theft with singing. What's the biggest thing you stole? Uh, your heart. Oh, uh, <laughs> I remember that. I remember those days. Were you, did you ever steal something so? What's big? the biggest thing I've? St- that you felt really bad about? There's something. There is something that I'm like. Because there's times where you steal big like, stuff and you're this like. This is huge. That PlayStation 2, I did feel bad for about I mean, a week. That's big. That's like a. Yeah, but then I just, I had a rip of, I just, you know, went on a run on a season in Madden. And you're right. Like, well. You're also thinking like, it's Sony. Like. Yeah. I'm all for big companies. Yeah. yeah Not the like, little man. I wouldn't do that to a, a mom and pop video game store. No, but I did. Yeah. I, Places I don't with know. good insurance, I feel. I got to tell you. I don't think I like mom and pop stuff anymore. Why? They got attitudes. Well, they can because they own it. I don't like that. You want them to be beholden to you. I want them to be like big business. I complain. They send me a free thing or whatever. Yeah, but I they're don't... a mom and pop. They can't afford that big thing. Yeah. So, so that, that's so your problem is they like can't them. afford to pay you off when you're a little prissy bitch. <laughs> yeah. You go, give me stuff. And they go, that's not really we, how this we, works. We really can't give you anything. Honestly, we're in the red. <laughs> we go, more. I had other reasons. Damn, but- you were absolutely a kid that Wonka would have killed. Oh, yeah. I was Augustus Gloop in the tube. <laughs> you would have died. There's a chance I would have made it to the end. I don't know. I you th- get nothing. Yeah. You lose. That's when I would have attacked him. <laughs> Hi, well, Mr. Walker, you've never been to sh- divorce court. <laughs> Charlie I'm Bucket. F- I'm going to fly over this bench like Beat that black dude did him. in Philly. Or where was he? Where he flew it's, at the judge? Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to do that to Wonka. If he fucking tells me, you lose. It was, it's like, all you f- there, clear as crystal, black as white. You drank the fizzy lifting drink. <laughs> yeah. I was like, dude, we're in an elevator going to space. Dude, there's You're a, about to get your shit You rocked. know, there's like a whole website dedicated to why Grandpa Joe is a piece of shit. He is. He fakes so when we were in Katie <laughs> right. was just on Celebrity Jeopardy when we were there for that Charlie and the Chocolate Factory the original one came on and, and we got stoned in the hotel room and watched it and we were like this is dark Yeah, this is way darker than I remember it yeah. being but it's also way better of a film it's the best yeah people have regular teeth oh Old that's great people look like like People in their mid thirties look like they're in their fifties, yeah. which was comforting for yeah. when you were a kid. Yeah. <laughs> there was a wide margin of difference between adults and children. We were like, "Well, he, Grandpa Joe, Grandpa Joe could have been fifty or eighty. Yeah, I wouldn't have known. Well, 
the Charlie Bucket, the guy who played Charlie Bucket, is like a vet now in like a farmer. He like just went back. He's just yeah, he's, he's impregnating he, sheep with his fist, <laughs> dude. He goes, you know, funny story about Gene Wilder. Relax. <laughs> he goes, there it is. <laughs> and he brings it out. He goes, there so it he's just shaking there it out. There it is. It's so funny. <laughs> he goes, yeah. And uh, Gene Actually, Wilder, we stopped talking right before he died. <laughs> the girl who played Veruca Salt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> hold, hold on, hold Funny on. Funny story, Come on, girl. Yeah. Come on, she girl. actually ate some of the chocolate that wasn't meant to be. <laughs> oh, oh, God. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> <laughs> I saw the new Wonka in theaters Tim, with Timothy Shimley. Yeah, Tim, Timothy Shimley. <laughs> was it how? It was God. It was awful. Worse. At than, one point, they say "bussy" in it, though. There's like a scene where, and I was seeing it with somebody again, and we just turned to each other like, "There's a scene where he first gets to whatever this island is, Chocolate and, Island, Chocolate Island, and uh, they he has a he has a little treat that like when you eat it, it makes you fly, and then it'll come out of you." And he goes, "It comes out of you," and they're like, "Is this gonna shoot out of our bussies?" <laughs> Sincerely, and, I, and nobody mentioned it. Nobody like it. It's never. I looked it up online. No one's even, that's what. So the thing, of course. I was going to ask is was bussy an old term that came back to mean something boy new? Pussy? Boy pussy? <laughs> was boy pussy an old <laughs> term? Willie Walker's got a bussy, dude. <laughs> Four score and seven years yeah, ago. And th that's why he fucking rolled. He wanted to wipe off his boy, his bussy on the carpet <laughs> when he was opening the factory. <laughs> they, is it, is it bad enough that you're like, why did you make this movie? Yeah. Well, because I'm looking at it and I'm going, this isn't a Willy Wonka movie. Like, this isn't an origin story. It wasn't. It's. I mean, it is, but it's like at the end he gets the factory and he makes the factory. And it's like, no, why not start with the factory. Start with making the factory. You and know, what the, kind of labor laws do you have? Yeah. Are the, <laughs> are are the, the Oompa Loompas unionized? <laughs> what does that look like? The uh, Oompa Loompa was Hugh Grant, too. But So how are there more, though? Well, it's a whole... Island of Oompa uh, infestation Lumpas. and it's an infestation of what are we don't like to use the, the good words. ones. <laughs> you gotta hit Trumpisms with Oompa Loompas. <laughs> and they're not sending their best. And Oompa Loompas said to me, he said he comes up to me, tears in his eyes. <laughs> yeah. And he says, he says, <laughs> dude, there's no way old Brits would have been down with little orange men, even if they made candy. I'm sorry, you are a what now? An Oompa Loompa. Oompa Loompa. Lumpa, well, so. I worked for the East Indian Trading Company. <laughs> I buckled several native villages. I don't know who you are. Are you a pygmy? Your hair's quite green. Yeah, yeah. I'll turn you into mush. <laughs> they, at the end, does he go, do they do the thing where they like, sorry, there's a fire in our building, but we're still recording. That's how much we care about you guys. <laughs> we'll die in a fire as long as <laughs> we start <laughs> talking more. <laughs> so fading. We're like, oh, yeah, so fucking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You guys ever? <laughs> do you guys ever go to? <laughs> <laughs> An you, guys, you guys ever go to medieval times? <laughs> <laughs> I love medieval times. <laughs> 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 Fire alarm. Podcasters <laughs> die. <laughs> Podcasting. Local nobody. We didn't even get our plugs in. <laughs> yeah. We couldn't tell you where they were going to be because the podcast <laughs> ended mid episode. <laughs> <laughs> but was there ever the, um, like, I, we love when there's a line in a biopic. <laughs> where they go like Dude, biopics suck yeah where they say either the name of the band or the song they go wait a minute this is a queens of the stone age <laughs> oh. <laughs> it just doesn't or make they any go sense. like the thing katie and i always say around here is we go that's it <laughs> that's the song because they did that in the aretha franklin movie where she's like can i get a little rs -E rspect and they go, <laughs> that's crazy that's the song that's crazy by dude. the way uh, otis redding wrote respect i'm pretty sure so it's, it's funny that that's even in the movie where you're like that's made up dude it's so funny to me that like especially with rap biopics where oh, Tupac, these, these uh, rappers can all eyes on me is be, great be honest i got all, all these eyes on me they, <laughs> they have to like they have to make it this like uh grandizing yeah. kind of yeah, yeah. like this big thing we've broke them down we broke down every rap biopic on the Obviously, bonfire notorious is well the worst one because it's like right before he dies he's like i got everything figured out yeah <laughs> oh, that's it. i just gotta go be a good dad i'm gonna call my daughter oh. 
And I'm, I'm gonna call I'm my gonna open them a regular. Baby, baby. <laughs> yeah, it sucks. <laughs> Dude, my biopic, awful. my last line would be like, "Huh, all those voices," <laughs> and it was my own that mattered the most. <laughs> Every step you take. <laughs> For years, he was rapping, but he never rhymed his heart <laughs> with what he truly wanted. You always think about your biopic ending, about turning off the lights on that last scene. I have no idea what that would be. I don't know. Just but, looking back. But doing a doing a pre, yeah, you did it. Doing a prequel of Willy Wonka is pretty wild because no I, one. Nobody asked for it. At nobody all. wants Timothy Chalamet to be the guy. It's He's like just so hot that they're like I know. putting him in everything. Yeah, like nobody wants. It's a hard role to even play because we're gonna redo Hoosiers and with even Gene Timothy Wilder Shaw. was like the when, the, when the John when the Johnny Depp one came out he was like this sucks. He's like an old guy being like I hate everything about this. Jo he did. He did. There's an interview where he's like I hate this. Gene Wilder rules. <laughs> Why would you do this? Gene Wilder was the best. <laughs> yeah, dude, he was. He really was. If Gene Wilder shit on something I did, I'd be like I'm retiring. The first naked lady I ever saw outside of my mom's own tits. Mm. Oh, and that's the reason we brought you here. We. <laughs> got a scale of soft to raging hard judge your mom's tits uh, <laughs> you're like oh welcome to the oedipus <laughs> complex podcast you want to fuck your mom and kill your dad that's why you asked me to do this <laughs> that's why you asked me to cut to me in the bushes like <laughs> how did you know now i can be so honest <laughs> um but you're saying gene, gene wilder uh, was gene, the first the naked first, lady you saw no the first naked lady i saw was in that movie uh with him and richard Pryor. uh which one uh the see no evil see no evil see no evil hear no evil see no evil or whatever great. that one is yeah is that what it is what's it yeah, called then there's any what way any which way but i don't uh, know whatever naked there was a naked lady full, check that, full frontal i feel bad that i didn't get that i used to watch those all the time any, any which way, but... When you're blue and you don't know where to go to, why don't you go where fashion seats? You know what? We're just going to edit that whole part out. Cause I don't uh, think, uh, all right. I don't think there is a movie called that. I swear to God. Silver Streak is what I was thinking about. Well, whatever there was a, Son of a naked lady bitch. in one of them, that's the, one I, that's the first naked lady I ever saw. Really? Yeah. I came down when my uh, parents, what's the my first parents were watching it on TV. And you were like, oh. And, and I would like sit at the top of the stairs. Very cliche. Sitting at the top of the stairs? <laughs> it's cliche because it happened to so many people. Yeah. My mom was on a date and they rented Terminator, the original Terminator, which was like at the time Terminator 2 wasn't out. It wasn't like this box office action movie. Terminator itself was kind of like a sci-fi horror movie. So yeah. like adults watched it. It wasn't T2 with all the merchandising and all that shit. Right, it was right, like Terminator right. was like, oh, this is kind of a scary movie. Yeah. And my, uh, we went, you know, we went to the video store that day and I got to rent like a video game and a wrestling tape and she rented Terminator. I remember like, I was like, you guys are going to watch Terminator? And I want, my dad let me, when I'd visit my dad, he let me watch Rated R movies all the time. My mom was like, you're That's not watching awesome. a Rated R movie. She's like, I was like seven or eight. She's like, you're not watching a Rated R movie. And I told her I was going to go upstairs and play with my toys in my room and then I sat at the top of the stairs where I could see the TV. And when Arnold punches through the guy's stomach, I went, oh. And my mom went like, what the fuck? And I was like, oh. Dude, that's awesome. And I was so hyped for Terminator. I think it's it's in my top five. Terminator? Terminator, Terminator 2. Wow. Comfort food. Complete comfort Whoa, food. Oh, really? Love the entire franchise. I'll watch Terminator Genesis if I have to. I don't think Dark I have Fate. a, I don't think I a, have a comfort storm. movie. I love I love. The Jurassic Park and the Terminator universe. I'm very. I, I oh, like maybe all Jurassic of it. Park. And yeah. it's all shit. Yeah. After the first one, it, it's Terminator so, One and Two are good. It's so funny when you go back to a movie that you loved and you're like, oh god, this is bad. Dude, when Katie and I first started dating, we'd like we still do love watching terrible movies. But there's a wrestling movie called No Holds Barred, starring Hulk Hogan. <laughs> and it's really bad. <laughs> WWF. Is he, uh, he's, he's like a, the lead. It's about him. He plays a wrestler. It's not even named Hulk Hogan. His name's Rip. <laughs> I would Rip, watch. Rip Rogan. Dude, Rip Rogan. <laughs> Rip Bobin. He, um, <laughs> I would watch that movie with you. It's. I would watch that movie. Horrible. You should do like a side Patreon-y right. kind of thing. Not even a Patreon. Just I might like, as well just do a bonus episode where yeah. we watch. Where you film us watching it, and then you can time it up, or you can play us watching it to the movie. 
Yeah, yeah we might as well try yeah, that. Yeah, it's worth it. They used to do that. The Mystery Science Theater 3000 guys would do that. Yeah. Where you could download the audio and then at a time you hit play on Titanic. I did that where I watched Titanic with their audio. It's really fucking funny. I haven't seen Titanic in its fullness. Oh, you yet. should watch it. But then you should watch it with the Mystery Science Theater. Th- you can download it on iTunes. <laughs> Dude, I I kind of like the Mystery Science I thing, but I also with it. I laugh at at someone actually like watching the Mystery Science thing and kind of being annoyed that they're yeah. talking. Shut up. Hey. <laughs> what, is to, what is this? Get back to Santa versus the Martians. It's <laughs> just dude, like they say something it's like, yeah. "Yeah, it's a movie." Yeah, what do you want them to do? It was in the 50s. <laughs> they had no special effects. Dude, in the just somebody A guy <laughs> taking the a guy taking the air out of Mystery Science Theater. <laughs> yeah. Will you guys shut up? Also, who sits in the front row? What are you hurting your neck? Right, <laughs> taking the Fucking air idiot. out of the mystery science yeah, theater. There you go. Hey, bro, that's not a robot. That's a guy voicing a Tom Servo is Those not a puppets. robot. Those are puppets. I love okay. that shit, dude. I yeah, fucked with mystery science. Theater well, because 2000. it's like your friends. It's yeah. like sitting around with your friends and being. It's kind of like a podcast. Fun of it, yeah. Because they would make fun of us. But we'll just take their idea and we'll watch, and we'll call it mystery. <laughs> clever <laughs> <laughs> clever math uh, but the movie I don't know I wasn't going to finish it. you couldn't that. even finish it I didn't want to it died <laughs> on the vine there was one more word I went <clears throat> <laughs> you know when you take a bite you know, and you go cl- no clever math <laughs> you know when you're brave enough to take the bite but then you're like uh, uh, you just put it out on a napkin oh yeah uh, I'm, a, I'm a texture guy I, yeah uh, I'm like I don't like this this yeah. tastes weird I go mm, <laughs> <laughs> in my mom's it's hands <laughs> alright spit okay. it out <laughs> it's embarrassing scraping it off your tongue with how your teeth how many times as a 48 year old man I've gone <laughs> I don't like it um, put it in your pocket but Katie and I put on No Holds Barred because I was like this movie sucks yeah and I got real high before we watched it and we were we're at my old apartment in Queens, and it was like a sectional couch, and she was in the corner of the couch, and I fell asleep blocking her in. <laughs> so I just fell asleep, and she couldn't get out to change the movie, <laughs> and I had to watch this Hulk Hogan movie. <laughs> she woke me up. I was like, what happened? She's like, you've been asleep for like an hour. Why didn't now? Why didn't she just wake you up to be she, like, hey, I want to change dating. This. Oh, <laughs> I, I think it was maybe a month into us dating. Dude, uh, I did that with my last girlfriend. She was like, she was like, do you have you ever seen Midsommar? And I went, uh, I went, no, I'm because and I go and I have this like thing with gory shit. And I heard it's really gory and yeah. all that stuff or whatever. I heard I heard it's fucked up. Yeah. And I get I faint at things that are like fucked up. Like you a know? goat? <laughs> yeah, I play dead. I go. Mm. Brendan, wake up. You get caught stealing it. You just caught stealing a target. What are you doing behind those things? <laughs> Yeah, dude. Don't, so you faint? I'm sweating. Yeah. That's so yeah. funny. Yeah. So she fell asleep immediately <laughs> and the movie, and it's the same situation where I was like, I had my thing up back up against the wall and she's sleeping there and I'm just watching it. And also she snored. So, but her snoring wasn't like, it wasn't, there was no rhythm to it. It was just every once in a while she'd be like, Kah! Like, oh no the worst part of snoring yeah yeah it would be the like whiplash the whiplash where you get ripped back to life <laughs> yes. dude big J yeah. big J doesn't act out of someone snoring and he says it's them dying 50 times in the night so they go oh thank god <laughs> <laughs> it's so that, funny, dude. And that's exactly it. It's like every time she, uh, it's like it's like waking up from or just getting concussed. Yeah, You're was like, like where with am the, I? <laughs> boo, like I get that. Every time I'm on the road, I take a nap when I get to the hotel, and that is always the first reaction I have is fear, is pure really? fear, and I don't know where I am every time I wake up from a nap on the road. Because <laughs> I've been in so many hotels that sometimes they look similar, and then you're like, what city am I in? And you're like, when is it? Well, also, there's something in the air in hotels. Yeah. It makes you want to beat off. Am I right? Oh, hell yeah, dude. <laughs> Door yeah, shuts. Yes. Like, yes. Let's go. <laughs> I'm back in my kennel. Yeah. So anyway, she just kept snoring. It kept scaring me. Did you did it? Did you pass even, out? No, it wasn't. It wasn't that bad. But towards the end, it was like, uh, uh, a movie that made me pass out, though, is this movie Creep. You ever seen that movie? No. With uh, Mark Duplass. Oh, and he, oh, shit. He plays just a serial the trailer killer where he goes. A guy goes to like his cabin. Yeah. To like 
what is it interview him he's to interview a serial killer yeah and so the guy's saying like i'm mark duplass plays a serial killer and it's a uh it's a it's like a found footage thing yeah it's like a blair witch yeah exactly but the second one they did creep too they did creep too uh and she like so it's the main person that is a vlogger what? girl all right all right and so she's like hanging out and he like falls in love with her and he's like we should kill ourselves and then he starts stabbing himself and that's what made me like fucking goat <laughs> when you wake up from that do you, here's my question because i would say one of my favorite videos of all time that made me laugh the hardest is you know at carnivals or amusement parks the ride where two people are strapped in and then they pull you back oh and yeah they shoot you. there's the a great one dmx with his daughter <laughs> yeah where he's being a sweetheart yeah he's like it's all right baby we fly in and he's like loving it and she's <laughs> like be all right. and he's like oh we got this it's great <laughs> yeah what my favorite video of that is there's a guy that keeps passing out <laughs> and waking up and being so afraid he passes out Dude, again. Yeah. So he goes, ah, and he's up and he goes, oh. <laughs> that's me, bro. And he up and goes, ah. Yeah, oh. that's it's me. One of my favorite videos of all time. I will never ride that ride at all. Or so like even you, roller coasters, I, I think I'm done. Really? Yeah. So my question to you is, if you pass out watching a movie, if you go and then I wake go, up and it's, and it's still, still going. going on, will you pass out again? No. No. You'll just go like... <laughs> I wake up... <laughs> disassociated? Like, <laughs> disassociated, sweaty. Do you I wake just up, curl into the back of the room and like I just stop out? looking at it and I like, I like, I'm like, you know, I just, I turn it off. You know, I'll wake up and be like, I can't and like, I'm sweaty and I'll, I have to like take my, sh I have to get naked and like... You have to go take a shower and be in an army blanket? What? <gasps> oh yeah. I mean, I'm passing out all the time. One time um, during COVID... I went to the city MD to check to see if I had the antibodies because yeah. everyone was saying you have to do that. Yeah, yeah. Everybody's on their fucking high horse about shit that you got to do with your body. Yeah, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, so everybody's it. going like, go to the city MD and get blood taken. I hate getting blood taken and I didn't need anything Cause, that cause day. Because Katie passes out with needle stuff. It's a, it's called vasovagal. Yes. Yeah. Yes. So, so the, the doctor who uh, he came in and I had, I mean, I also, I'm going to take 50% of the blame here because I, I didn't eat all day and I smoked a joint on the way there. And so you're high and you already pass out easy. Exactly. Good move. So. <laughs> no, it's real smart. <laughs> Fuck you, man. Good job, dude. Why don't you have a couple I'm drinks? I'm the victim. Why don't you have a couple drinks and drive home? <laughs> yeah, that's exactly what that was. <laughs> that's exactly what that was. Oh, yeah, cool, dude. Hey, yeah. hey. It's my favorite line in any Adam Sandler movie of all time. <laughs> Is he goes, didn't you get left at the altar? He goes, yeah, my parents died in a car accident when I was 12. You want to talk about that? He goes, why do we want to talk about that? <laughs> Alabama Slim. He goes, yeah, it's a good idea. Why don't you have some drinks? Drive home. What movie is that? Wedding Singer. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Great movie. Awesome. I mean, top 10 Sandler flicks. He's got about 10 that are just pure bangers. And anyway, then, so uh, I go there and the doctor says to me, he goes, he smells the weed on me and he goes, oh, you like to party. <laughs> exactly. He you said ever, something around that. You ever done anal nitrate? And I, <laughs> he, goes, he goes, excuse me. He goes, he call goes those he's got a cracker. Yeah. <laughs> he goes, you should try this. <laughs> All right. Let's oh, test to see if man, you got to okay. <laughs> this is a man after my own heart. <laughs> Dude, whip it. He's like, he goes, oh, didn't oh. know you like to get wet. <laughs> oh, I didn't know you like to dance before you fuck. <laughs> Okay, okay. I'm about to hit you with this needle, but first let me get in my head space. You do opiates? I want to hit for like 30. Goes, Open your hand. Goes, How much do you weigh? He takes out a little mirror. He goes, no way. <laughs> it's nuts. Where'd you go to high school? Go <laughs> Mustangs. Am I right? <laughs> He's just going through. He goes, one for you, one for me, one for you, two one for me. It's <laughs> going up. I love the idea of just being an absolute corrupt pharmacist. Yeah. Going like, eh, eh. Friday for you, Friday for me. So he goes. He says he's like, oh, so he's like, you smoke weed, huh? And I was like, yeah, I get. Which I was already like, why are you even mentioning cop? it? Yeah. And I was like, well, well you know, I, uh, I, I go, I get a little nervous because I, uh, you know, and I say to him, I go. Um, I go, cause this is how I usually tell doctors. I'll go, I'm a bit of a pussy when it comes to needles. Very medical. I like that. He's, exactly. I'm, I'm sure they appreciate this, the use of medical terms. <laughs> well, hey, I'm a big fat pussy well, and I get scared of needles. <laughs> he goes, Poseidus. 
<laughs> a lot of kids in middle goes, school. Are, a lot of kids in middle goes, school are diagnosed with that. <laughs> he goes, oh he yeah. So he goes, he goes, oh yeah. You got Poseidon. <laughs> yeah, I, uh... <laughs> probably dry dick too. <laughs> when was the last time you got some punane? You know, I kind of like the the, dip, the drip. <laughs> you know, some people don't like that. <laughs> I like throat. the drip. <laughs> he's like, he's like, I get it. I'm robo tripping right now. He goes, I'm on some lean. <laughs> Call me little Wayne. Everything is in slow. But I said to him, I go, I'm a bit of a pussy. And he said, he goes, language. He did the language thing at All me. Right. Breaking story, because you brought up a point that I have forgotten about. But recently I was talking to my friend Des about this. And that is when grown people... <laughs> correct grown people's language in a way that's nerdy yeah if there are children around if there are the elderly around and you're really letting it rip i understand someone going like because i'm loud and i cuss a lot yeah yeah yeah. so i get it nate is constantly that friend around me that's like i mean come on yeah there's a kid right there yeah and i'm like well they should learn what an anal sock is (laughs) well maybe a prolapsed asshole something they need to look into yeah but that exact situation, it's like, hey, you're a doctor. Yeah. Or you're a, not even, you're a pharmacist. Yeah. Shut the fuck up. Well, real doctors, when I say that, they go, totally get it. Yeah. And they'll, they like. Real doctors. Real doctors. Not you, you hear drug that? Drug pushers. City MD. You know what City yeah, MD is? In. You know, like, you know, it's like the cafeteria in a hospital. Mm-hmm. It's like if they looked at that and they went, let's just have people start. Fit, you know, doing shit in there. Too. I just want to take people down here while they get applesauce. <laughs> like, right. Why don't we have the lunch lady start working that's on some good. people? Let's just have her come in and poke and prod them. Right. But the the cussing thing, I this is years ago. PlayStation Five just came out. I still have my PlayStation Four. It's all video <laughs> dude, games. Dude, this whole like you you're, you got a lot of PlayStation stories. But I couldn't find a PlayStation Four controller on the road, so I went to a GameStop where they said they had them. And I went in the guy behind the counter. I was like, do you have PlayStation 4 controllers? He's like, no, only PlayStation 5. And I go, ah, damn it. I'm fucked again. And he goes, language like that. And I was like, dude, no, we're at a GameStop nerd. Right? Were there children present or no, anything? It was me and him in the store. Dude, I will fight somebody if they do that. What? He was a, but he language. Was the oh, ner- fucking language. You fucking. Yeah. Oh, so hurt your fucking ears, you pussy. Yeah, goes, I'll start saying things that yes. I don't even. But then he takes uh, it real. He goes, think. yeah. Yeah, he goes, oh, he's autistic. Oh, God. You oh, walk my, out, you oh go, no. Ah. Oh, he's got the mind of a child. He was kind of retarded. Ah. <laughs> you know what? I wouldn't have swung at that if I knew. <laughs> So anyway, they're trying to. So now I'm like not. So you say you're a, a pussy. Good, he goes, this guy gets mad. I say I'm a pussy. He also he knows says that you're a little high, a little fucking high. And he goes, well, which what, what he said about it was he was like, he's like, so you like smoke weed? And I was like, huh? And he goes, I, I smelt it, so I had to say something. And my brain is immediately going, no, you fucking didn't. So now I'm angry. I'm on edge. He said language. So now I feel, I feel nervous. You're a visitor. Yeah. You feel, and you feel very away. I, yeah. And then he, uh, he was trying to get it. And even the thought of going like, you know, when somebody's like, okay, go like this. Yeah. Even the, th- the going like this makes me like, like not now, yeah, but like, nervous. yeah. Because you know what's coming. Like, you know you're about to get pricked. Exactly. Trying to see if my words will make you faint. <laughs> <laughs> and then there's just me being, <laughs> there's just me being genuinely concerned. Going, Brendan, Brendan, wake up, sir. You just passed out, Brendan. We're well, that, still on the podcast. That's what happens. You just go. I don't know if you've ever fainted before. Yeah, well, I used to do out. the pass out game in seventh grade. Where that's they, crazy. Where your friends would push on your chest and you pass out. Yeah, and then out. you stand up really quickly. <laughs> so you stand against Dude, the wall, yeah, my, yeah, and someone friend. pushes against your chest and you pass out. Oh yeah, it's. Very dangerous yeah. and should not have been done. I know. But we did it a lot. <laughs> but that that feeling. So my pass out story was. Yeah, it's crazy. You also could hold the side of your neck and you'd pass out if you took a bunch of deep breaths. Dude. Both homeless pimp and Brendan are going to be like, <laughs> like, what the fuck are you talking about? <laughs> but I used to do this. So you do this thing where it, it was like popular for a week in seventh grade. I don't know. But I remember being at the front of my seventh grade science class and going, you guys don't pass out. You bend over like this. <laughs> and then you go like this and then the next thing I know I was getting up off the floor and my teacher was walking in and I was like <laughs> <laughs> so I, it must I, have been so funny to everyone else around like you don't pass out first you do this and then you're gonna do <laughs> Jesus man Sorry. <laughs> okay. like, alright uh, okay well, class let's learn about moss <laughs> yeah. well yeah dude passing out is not it's not so fun. he says like oh you got a little weed so, you, so and then, then I black d- out and he tells you to do this he does, so we're doing this he cannot find the vein 
Uh, and I just woke up on the floor and he was, he, not only that, he went, he went, sir, sir, sir. He's like slapping my face. He's like, sir, sir. I'm like, uh, he's like, he's like, you just passed out. And then you had a seizure. No. Which has happened before. No. Which, yeah. That's way scary. I know. And then, and then he was like, so do you, and then I look at Sorry the, about the weed. He's like apologizing <laughs> to you. You can cuss. You can fucking cuss. He's he goes, back yeah, to us. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He goes, he goes, and this is why you shouldn't smoke weed. Yeah. Anyway, that'll be $50. That, that was a cussing seizure. <laughs> You had a seizure because you cussed. Maybe yeah. if you watched your language, your brain would yeah, turn like on you. Yeah, seems like the devil didn't Get the devil like inside of you. <laughs> and uh, I looked in the doorway, and there was a bunch of like nurses and oh. shit staring at me. And then I just left. So it's like it's like the Mulaney joke that he did, but yeah. it was like it really is that where I went there for no reason, passed out, had a seizure, got up, and went home. <laughs> You just had a bunch of nurses going like, did you see that boy faint? I heard it's because he cousin. Yeah. I heard he steals stuff from Target. <laughs> Full seasons. Dude, that's fucking insane. Yeah. Waking up out of a, do you ever talk when you wake up out of passing out? I don't know. I can't even, I can't even tell. You wake up and you're like, the medallion is in the library. <laughs> well, I used to, uh, so during, again, during the pandemic, when I was drinking, yeah, I would, uh, cause Katie Boyle lived near me. Sure. So I would go to her place and we would just watch movies all night and we were watching creep too. And that's when I passed out and I went on the ground and I, was having a seizure and she said she was like just staring at me and she was like she was like i was trying not to laugh you know she's That's irish so, so she's like looking at me going like yeah. <laughs> you know like we call that an english nightmare <laughs> that's all you're having the queen is in your brain that's what they say in ireland when you have a seizure what do they oh, call look at that the you the, yeah. what do they call the irish genocide like the troubles oh the troubles oh he's having oh, a bit of the troubles looks like his brain went back to the troubles <laughs> His brain is on the fritz. Irish people not understanding seizures. Yeah. Oh, look at that. He's oh, doing they, a little floor oh, jig. Yeah, he's calling that the troubles jig. Yeah. Oh, look at that. His brain turned on she him. She starts dancing next to me. Do, 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 do. I'm on the floor like this. She's like, do, 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 do. Oh, this is how we start every line of the dance. With a boy too scared and evil. Dude, that's so funny. You wake up with an Irish woman broken. Are you dead? Did you see the future? <laughs> Do you know what the winning lotto numbers are? Do Did you, you have see them? The Do you have magical so powers? They just so automatically funny. assume yeah. you come back with magical powers. <laughs> Can you fly or lift a car above <sighs> your head? Dude, yeah. So it's That's not, nuts. it's not, it's, it's crazy. And it's not, has anyone diagnosed what the seizures are? No. Seizures only happen twice. So I that think. That doctor and Katie Boyle. Yeah. Yeah. Damn. <laughs> What an audience. <laughs> I would freak out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I did. After the city. People passing out. I, I, don't, I don't do well with it. Yeah. Now, if it's alcohol induced, I'm the man to have around. I grew up with that. I'm like a triage nurse. Yeah, but. I can get you. I'll get pillows behind your back. I'll put a nice Pedialyte next to you. I think there's you a mean, difference, times though. I put a blanket on a drunk parent. <laughs> Even uh, any, anyone who has will know, will immediately go, know with my f wrist flick that I have. <laughs> yeah. And you go, mm, I love you. I'll yeah. The drunker they are, the more of a. Yeah, you go. Of a, of <laughs> can't believe the Nuggets lost. <laughs> Putting it over me, sweet mother. Over me, sweet mother. Oh, you're having, oh, you're doing a little floor jig. <laughs> Dude, that makes me laugh so hard picturing her doing like an Irish behind the, behind the, <laughs> while I'm having a full long seizure. <laughs> <laughs> like, boy, I fucking love that. Holy shit. Drunk in lullaby. Oh, Did you, uh, do you have anything coming out? Anything to plug? I have a special coming out soon. Uh, we just we just recorded it. Uh, well, filmed it. Where at? It's going to be on my YouTube, probably. So go sign up for your YouTube page. <laughs> yeah, sign up. Brendan Sagalow on YouTube. Subscribe. And then add Brendan Sagalow on Twitter, Instagram. All that shit, yeah. When, uh, when's this coming out? I don't know. Well... If it's coming out this month, I'll be in. I'll be at the port where you just were. Dude, that place fucking it rules. It looks like it rules, yeah. It rules. It is a tiny little awesome stacked room. It ran looks by cool. a comic. Green room is really fun. Yeah. The audiences are great. It's like in Baltimore proper. Yeah. Port fucking rules. I'll be there 26th and 27th. Hell yeah. Go check out Brendan Sagalo. He's also going to be on the road with me. We've, we've got some dates coming up together. That's so fun, man. Yeah, we had a great time doing yeah. Albany and Vermont. 
And uh, yeah, I got some stuff in March coming up. I'll see if you're free for. I'm and, free, baby. Uh, oh, I'm free. Oh, <laughs> just don't go passing out on me. <laughs> now that I know that, you're Dude, almost a liability. Yeah, to I have know. On the <laughs> a I, liability. I got, I'm gonna have to watch you in stores. <laughs> Well, that's why I can't like ever go on the road with Burt Kreischer because yeah. he's like making everybody do like oxygen. Yeah. And every, there's so many pictures of like you Sam and Mark him, being like, you know, you waking, like, that would fucking kill me. You waking up out of a seizure to him squeal laughing at you passing out. <laughs> he's fucking yeah. out of seizure. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my God, dude. Don't pass out. We're on the road. I'm, I wake up like it's like a horror movie with like that hat sewed to yeah. my head like his now you're a part of our family <laughs> now he's the sweetest and you rule dude you rule. i love you thanks for coming by you. and doing this thanks for having me that's it